and Malaysia is the first step towards this engagement getting strength, strengthened by the year. Indian associations of business, whether they are CII, FICI, ASOCHAM, whose head is also here with us, have actively promoted this relationship between India and Malaysia. And at a time when the Indian government has almost committed a one trillion US dollars towards our spending for promotion of infrastructure in India, we are engaging with Malaysia, which has proven as an infrastructure provider for the entire world. Their capabilities in infrastructure building, their state-of-the-art infrastructure itself, as we all see when we go there, have proven them as one of the most competent to provide infrastructure all over the world. And in India, if you're committing a US $1 trillion, and also very clearly laying our focus, whether we are building urban infrastructure in terms of smart cities, housing for all, and ensuring that that doesn't stop with just the smart cities and housing. We are also looking at industrial corridors. One of the world's most respected institutions, the IMF, highlighted in its latest report that the Malaysian economy continues to perform well despite headwinds and has made significant progress towards us achieving high income status. We have done this by keeping deficit, inflation and unemployment low while putting in place policies that are pro-business. We are investing in human capital, technology and infrastructure and focusing on sharpening our competitive edge. We started a plan, the Economic Transformation Program in 2010 and it has delivered 1.8 million new jobs, an increase in gross national income of nearly 50%, the virtual el el elimination of poverty, producing a sustainable momentum of economic growth that would be the envy of advanced economies.